There is one Northeast Ohio courtroom in which the judge himself may sound as if he's doing stand up comedy. For some misdemeanor crimes or traffic violations, the judge has become nationally known for his highly unusual sentences. You've probably heard about this judge, but not like this. Here comes the judge in Leon Bibbs, My Ohio. Well, you might call it law with a laugh track. Punishment maybe with a punchline. What it is, is highly unusual. As a lawyer might say, I submit as evidence his honor himself, Painesville Judge Michael Chicanetti. The court of unusual sentence. The judge who presides here often offers a choice of penalties to the first time convicted, jail, or accept an unusual punishment. For example, case of the woman who abandoned dozens of kittens in the woods. The judge sentenced her to a night in the woods alone, although security was near guarding her. How would you like to be dumped off in a metro park late at night, spend the night, listen to the coyotes coming upon you, listen... In Judge Michael Chicanetti's courtroom, some first-time nonviolent offenders know expect the unexpected. Some convicted take the Chickenetti alternative, sidestepping a short jail stretch. The judge has said often his approaches teach lessons better than the slammer. Absolutely. Oh, are there a few that don't? Do I make a few mistakes when I, when I don't pick the right candidate for the sentence? Yeah, that happens. Painesville Municipal Court handles city ordinance violations and misdemeanors. Heavier matters go elsewhere. But here, Chickenetti sometimes sees need for courtroom stand-up comedy. Example, drunk driver claims, "'Twas not liquor which caused the accident, but a deer bounding down the road." This is the deer I imagine jumped in front of your car. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, you know, you wreck your car and you blow a .18. Okay. But it was the deer. No! <laughs> now, there's all kinds of ways no! to say a no. <laughs> and what about one defendant who said, Your Honor, I only had one drink, when cops' breathalyzer screamed, he was loaded. One drink, you blew a point two one. I said, the only way you had one drink is if you had this one filled with alcohol. <laughs> now I believe you had one drink. Only a half percent of offenders see Chickenetti's creativity. Even they have to be courtroom first-timers showing remorse for what they did. Critics complain Chickenetti grandstands for publicity. Not so, says the judge of 20 years, arguing he helps the court, the community, and the defendant. The, the criticism that I have comes, if there's any, it comes from me. Because at the time, I do what I think is right. And I live with it. Painesville's Michael Chickenetti is likened to the guy next door. Outside his courtroom, he'll tell you, drop the judge handle. Call me Mike. Hey, citizen of the year, come on over. Hi. How are you? How are you? Happy hey, New Year. Congratulations. If you look down at that photograph at the end of the bar, it was taken how many years ago? Oh, 35 years ago, probably. Moving easily through Painesville, this Lake County community has been home for all his 62 years. Everywhere Chickenetti goes in Lake County, he is well known and widely respected. Even respected by many who have stood before his bench and heard his sentences directed to them. He's a very good judge. You know, he always tries to show the guys uh, the right path. Once a horse groomer, before that, Great Lakes or boat deckhand, followed by college and then clerk of Painesville Court. Later, law school, lawyer judge. He offered testimony about life as we walked to his childhood home next door to where his aunt lived. My Aunt Phil's house, and I can remember when we, we built that with my dad and my uncles, and I would have to hand them the hammer and, the, and of course, yeah. the cold beers as they were building the house. <laughs> when Chickenetti was a kid, he took his first train ride right here at the old Painesville Depot. It's closed now, but filled with memories. He and his grandfather rode all the way to Cleveland for an afternoon train ride. Grandson, grandfather, outing, that kind of thing. Painesville is where Chickenetti's roots run deep, and he has no plans on leaving here. This is home. This is home. My hometown. As the old comic often joked, here comes the judge. Small town judge Chickenetti carries a big stick. End of sentence. Only a half percent of the convicted get choice of unusual sentences or jail time. I asked Mike Chickenetti if he would like to go show business and be a television court judge, like Judge Judy or Judge Joe Brown. Nah, he groaned, flashing a broad smile. I'll stay in Painesville, but sometimes he's show business there. Here comes the judge. 